what I want to show you today is a very cool tool that can actually be very, very nice to work with while mixing. In today's video, we're going to look at a very cool service that is called La La Lai, which is lalal.ai. It's a service that split and extract stems from a stereo audio file, and it uses a good AI algorithm to do so. And this video is actually sponsored by La La Lai, so I'm going to leave the link down below if you want to try it out. There's a 10-minute free trial, which we're going to get into later on. And I'm also going to share with you a very cool technique that you can use when mixing to analyze your reference tracks with the help of La La Lai, and this will come in a moment, so stick around. So if we go on the lalal.ai website, uh, this is what we get. There's actually an example of an acoustic performance where the vocals are extracted from the bed music. So let's have a listen to the original song. I wanna feel that fire all day Make love in the sun Okay, now if we listen to the instrumental, this is what we get. All right, so let's listen to the vocal that was extracted. I know it's gonna be all right. Pretty nice. Stay steady when you're heavy, don't you give in to lie. So it does work pretty well. Um, I can hear a bit of ghosting on the instrumental uh, track, uh, but the vocal actually sounds very clean. Um, there's a bit of artifacts, you know, going on, which is normal when doing this type of procedure. So if we go on top, you can actually load your own track, and this is exactly what I'm gonna do. So the big question is how useful this type of service is. Now, these types of services can be useful uh, for remix purposes. If you wanna remix a song, you wanna retrieve the vocal out of the main music bed and remix that up, as a DJ, for example, that is a good tool to use. Or if you're a musician that you want to just get better at playing your instrument, it's actually a very cool tool to use. Let's say you're a drummer or a bass player. You want to practice playing your instrument on your favorite song. You can retrieve that instrument out of the mix and then record yourself over the bad music, you know, which is a very good way to improve yourself as a musician. Or if you just want to uh, to post some performances online, like on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and so on, uh, of you performing one popular song and make your own version out of it. You know, you can extract the vocals, for example, if you're a singer, singing your favorite popular song on top of the music and repost that on social. And this will work way better than singing on top of the song with all the vocals and stuff, you know? So that can be useful in this case. You can also use this as a creative tool when producing music. Uh, let's say you wanna extract the drum groove or a drum loop out of a mix to base yourself on and create your own uh, drum loop for your production. And you can also use this type of tool to analyze a reference mix while mixing. We're gonna take a look at that in a moment. Uh, but first, let's jump back on La La Lai and import one stereo mix. So I'm uh, gonna import a, uh, a full mix that I got from Epidemic Sound, which is the uh, online service with royalty-free music. So this way I don't get uh, uh, stuck with a copyright claim on the YouTube video. Now it's gonna take some time for it to load and this is what we get. So now um, I have the uh, vocal and instrument instrumental uh, that are already split, okay? So I can do the same with uh, drums, bass, uh, voice, and noise. I'm gonna check that out later also. Electric guitar, acoustic guitar, and so on. So let's listen quickly to the original mix. Okay, now let's listen to the instrumental on its own. Okay, and the vocal on its own. For you, there was no sun. The light came only from the moon. That's pretty cool. So it was able to retrieve the full vocal out of the music. And when listening to the instrumental, 
you know, uh, I have a hard time hearing ghosting also for this one. And this will vary from song to song, depending on the type of production uh, you're actually working with. Um, so let's listen to the drums. So I'm gonna click on drums and now it's gonna take the time to process. So if we listen to the drums on their own, Pretty cool, without the drums. It actually sounds pretty decent, you know? I think it did the job pretty well to extract the drums out of the music and vice versa. Um, let's try with another song that I have here, a more complex song. Like So you heard the stereo mix, now let's listen to the drums on their own. Okay, now the music without the drums. Pretty nice. That is actually pretty cool. Let's extract the vocals. So the vocals on their own. Like a drug that I just can't deny giving me the best high. My body shaking, shaking every time you get into me. Okay, you, you can hear artifacts, you can hear a bit of the music, you know, there's some tiny, tiny parts that you can hear, but it did work pretty well. Since this is a more complex production, more tracks are involved, it's a more busy mix, you know, so it's always harder when dealing with a full big production, you know. Let's listen to the instrumental without the vocals. That's pretty cool. Very, very well done, actually. So let's say this is what I want to export. I'm gonna process the entire file and then it's gonna split that up because what we heard so far is only a preview and this will not take any minutes from your plan, you know? So it's gonna take some time to process the whole thing and now it's ready to download. So I can just click the arrow and from this point, I'll be able to download the file and same for the instrumental. And then I can select a new file or go back to previews and select another stem to download and that's the thing for now you cannot download or extract like a selection of stems all at once okay you need to um, extract those one at a time this is a bit of a downside to be honest but from what I've heard la 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 is actually working on a feature well you'll be able to uh, extract and download a bunch of stems simultaneously which is going to be great so i hope this will happen in the near future now once you process the file and download this is when uh, you'll have your minutes deducted from your plan now let me show you something in cubase that can be very cool now i have the last song extracted in four different stems so i have the uh, the drums the bass uh the the guitars and also the the vocals and the cool thing you can do by doing so let's say this song is my mix reference track what I can do from this point is to analyze with a uh, plugin a uh, spectrum analyzer the stems you know all the different stems so I need to make you mad think I want you in my blood now I'm careful when I analyze uh, these stems because they are stems retrieved out of a stereo mix. Okay, so they are not gonna be like exactly like 100% accurate compared to the original recording when it comes to the frequency spectrum, but they are very, very close. Close enough to be able to analyze a reference mix and get a good idea on the frequency spectrum of each stems. Uh, and if you're using a plugin like the Span plus uh, uh, spectrum analyzer uh, a cool thing that this plugin has and i'm not sure if there's a free option for with this type of feature but this is actually pretty cool because you can combine all these uh, frequency spectrum in the same window uh, so now i'm analyzing i'm not going to play the music but uh, i'm analyzing the uh, reference mix track by seeing the eq spectrum of each stems 
and it's pretty, pretty cool. So uh, I can, from this point, do the same with my mix and compare, you know, and compare what I have as far as the drum goes, uh, the tone of the bass, the relationship between the bass and the, uh, the drums and the vocal, where the vocal sits on my reference compared to my mix. Now using a spectrum analyzer on my stereo bus to compare my uh, mix reference with my current mix is something that I'm gonna do once in a while throughout the mix as a guide to where my mix sits as far as the frequency spectrum goes compared to my reference mix. And by using the same technique using instrument stems gives me way more data to work with as far as analyzing my mix compared to my reference mix. You get a full visual of all the instruments, uh, the way they sit in the mix in relation to the other instruments, which is actually pretty nice to know. And that can be a help when mixing your own music. Uh, but again, you know, working with uh, spectrum analyzers is something that I'm always careful about, you know, so it's not a tool that I'm going to make my final decisions with. I always use these tools as a guideline and always use my ears to make my final mixing decisions. If we go back on the Lalalai website and look at pricing, uh, we have uh, three different packages. Uh, we have the light pack at $15, one time fee, so you get 90 minutes. Um, the biggest one is $45, again, a one time fee, it's not a subscription. Uh, and then on this one you get 550 minutes and there's one in between for 30 bucks at 300 minutes and for a high volume if that is your case there's other options as well uh, so check it out the link is down below uh, take the time to test it out yourself let me know what you think leave all of your comments down below and also if you enjoyed this video share like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not already until next time take care and see you